Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about the difference between the two SAS syntaxes. The first one's called SAS, and the second one is called SCSS. So the overall framework that we're learning in this course, and sort of like the high level, you know, title that's given to this framework is SAS. But inside of SAS, you can actually write out your CSS files in basically two different syntaxes. So the first is called SAS and the second is called SCSS. And this can get a little bit confusing because the name of like the overall framework is SAS and then one of the syntaxes is called SAS, but then the other one is called SCSS. And so if you're just getting into SAS, like it's definitely gonna be a little bit confusing like what that means. Basically, SAS is this, you know, overall framework and there's two different syntaxes that we can use to, you know, do things like using variables or nesting. You can do all of these things two different ways. And the first is with the syntax called SAS. And you can see here, this is just on the SAS website. It's sort of like an example that they give. Over here, this is what SAS looks like. And then if I click over here, this is what SCSS looks like. So these two files actually look really similar. And in these two different types of syntaxes, you can use all of the same features. So you can use variables or nesting and functions in both SCSS and SAS. The main difference is that SAS is written in this sort of very minimal um, syntax. And so you can see there's not a whole lot of like curly braces. Everything is, is using like indentation to define scope. We're not using any semicolons. Whereas when I go over here to SCSS, it's using these curly braces, we're using semicolons, we're, you know, it's a lot more syntax heavy. So why is there two different syntaxes? Well, the basic reason is that SAS, this syntax was developed first, and it was sort of developed to be very minimal, very light on syntax. And you can see it looks very clean, it's very easy to write, but the problem is that a CSS file, like a normal CSS file, isn't a valid SAS file. And so if I was to take a pre-existing CSS file that I had on my website and I wanted to convert it to a SAS file, I would have to you know, get rid of a lot of that syntax, get rid of those semicolons, and I'd have to really make sure that I was indenting everything correctly. SCSS was a language that was developed a little bit later, so it's a little bit newer, and it's basically a superset of CSS. And basically that means that every single CSS file is a valid SCSS file. So if I have a website with, you know, maybe like five or 10 existing CSS files and I wanted to convert them and start using the SAS framework, I could just convert them to SCSS and I wouldn't have to change anything because every CSS file is a valid SCSS file. So it really doesn't matter which syntax you decide to use. If you wanna use SAS, that's fine. If you wanna use SCSS, that's fine. Honestly, it's gonna be easier for you to convert a existing CSS file into SCSS, but if you're starting from scratch, you might just wanna use SAS. One isn't better than the other. I mean, we're talking about syntax here. So the features available in the overall SAS framework are available to both of these languages. So you don't have to worry like you're, you're missing out by choosing one over the other. For the purpose of this course and going forward in this course, I'm gonna be using this SCSS language. Uh, just sort of a personal preference, I think it's a little bit easier for people coming from CSS to kind of get this. You know, if you know CSS already, it's really easy for you to take that existing knowledge and just convert it into SCSS because your CSS files are automatically valid SCSS files. Whereas if you're not you know, already familiar with this, you know, different syntax, then it's gonna be a little bit trickier for you to convert those files. So I'm gonna be using SCSS for the purposes of this course, but that doesn't mean that, you know, it's any better than SAS. It's really just a, a difference of opinion. And all the features, in other words, like all the concepts that I'm teaching in this course are gonna also apply to SAS syntax files. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of those two different syntaxes, but keep in mind that they're both encompassed under the SAS framework. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.